Phil Spencer was doing an interview a few weeks ago, and he was asked about the competition, basically, with PS4, and he didn't shy away from it. He was pretty straightforward, and he said he does view it as a direct competition, especially whenever you look at sales, and he says that he, quote, wants to win. So he's not backing down. He says he's a competitive person, and he wants to sell more Xboxes than Sony sells PlayStations. Now, anybody who's been watching and pays attention, and he even acknowledged himself that Microsoft is currently way behind when it comes to that goal. And so there's a lot of things that are going to have to be done in order to make up the room and the gap that PlayStation has made uh, whenever it does come to sales. Now, of course, we've got a long ways until the end of the generation, but Phil says he wants to win the generation. And one of the things that he's going to do in order to try to make that happen, he says is focus on exclusives. Uh, so, of course, there's been a lot of exclusives that have been announced, and, uh, you know, some of these are familiar franchises. Uh, you know, you got Halos and, and Gear, uh, and I say Halos because there's different ones that are talking about being in the works. You got the Master Chief Collection. You got Halo 5. Uh, there's also talk of Halo Wars coming in. Uh, you got Gears, Forza, Fable, Crackdown, Scalebound, Sunset, Killer Instinct, Phantom Dust, quantum break uh, so you've got several exclusives you got a pretty decent stable uh, but Phil says that he is going to take a different approach than some of his predecessors and really focus in on this area and try to bring more uh, to the platform so he says quote the one thing I'm probably taking a different approach on Xbox and some of the previous leaders is that I'm really into investing in franchises that we own when I think about the long term of this business I look at what Nintendo has built up over the years, and they have such a great stable of franchises, and they're able to do so much because so many people love the things that their franchises are doing that are uniquely Nintendo's and owned by Nintendo, and I want to get to that same place. So, of course, whenever you do think of Nintendo, you don't necessarily think of all the third-party games that are on PlayStation and Xbox, uh, which I think is a kind of a shame because I think that is one area that Nintendo really needs to focus on is working to get more third-party games on there. But one thing you can't deny is that uh, Nintendo has a awesome lineup of first-party content. They own a lot of franchises. You know, how many games have you seen Mario in besides just the flat-out Mario games? You know, you see them popping up in a lot of different places, and that's because they own those characters. They own that franchise. And so Microsoft saying that they want to go in that same direction whenever it comes to the long-term game. Um, so they also mentioned a drought possibility coming up. You know, the economy and the way that it's kind of uh, been slumping. Uh, you've got a lot of analysts who have been coming out saying that consoles are dead. You've got analysts saying that you're going to be seeing fewer AAA games coming out. Uh, so a lot of people are worried that you may see in a couple of years a situation where you don't have a lot of big games hitting. And so people are relying on the third party content. Content. Now, Phil did kind of laugh it off. He said, unless things start slipping like crazy, I think exclusive content is going to be fine. And he said it's critical to the long-term success. And that's going to be something that he continues to push as head of Xbox. He went on to further say that they're already lining up and signing contracts for 2016. You know, it's usually that one game on that one system that you can't play anywhere else that usually ends up making you make the switch, uh, flipping the key, and buying uh, that system. So, we will see what moves are made coming up in the future, and I am going to leave a link down in the description box below so you can check out that interview. Really good interview. They went over a lot of stuff, a lot of good questions, a lot of good answers. Uh, so if you want to check it out, the link's down in the description box. Post below. Let me know what do you think about the going after exclusives, making that a focus of uh, Microsoft. Do you think it's just PR BS from Phil, or do you think he really means it and that he's really going to go after the exclusive content? Uh, so we will find out just how serious Microsoft is uh, whenever it comes to the long ball game here pretty shortly. So... Stay tuned right here to this channel and to VGM for your latest gaming news. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.